Yo, what's up, y'all boys? It's your boy Face. I'm here with a new video for you guys, man. I'm gonna show you guys how you can make Jersey Club. I did just get a new mic and a new webcam because I want to like improve the quality of my YouTube videos and stuff like that. So like, make sure you guys leave a like, sub, do all that. Show me that you like like the videos. And I'm about to like try and like really like work on my YouTube stuff like that. Bring you guys content that you probably want to see more. But yeah, um, I am like on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, stuff like that. I'm starting to post more on those as well as you know I want to stream on Twitch now. So make sure you like tune in and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna want to do when you make the Dirty Club song is find a sample because that's gonna be the foundation of the song. So here's the sample that I got. All right, so now that you got the sample, what you're gonna wanna do is you want to drag the sample into the FL. And this is how it sounds. So you're gonna wanna create the loop. You're gonna um, drag it all over here. Make sure it's like a perfect like cut. So after you make your cut, you're gonna want to make another cut at the end because you want this to loop. So you gotta make another perfect cut right here because this is where the loop restarts. So it should sound like this. Now I'm gonna wanna get rid of these drums. So I'm using the new FL feature and just let it do its thing. All right, so now I just finished um, extracting all the stems. We're going to remove everything besides the instrument because that's all we need. So that sounds pretty good already. Now what we gotta do is take this. I like to just find it, favorite it, and just make a new. Not a new project, you can delete everything right here. The closer it is to eight, then you drag to eight. The closer it is to four bars, then you drag it to four. So if you hear like, if you hear the sample loop twice, that means it's eight bars. If you hear the sample only once, it's four bars. Sometimes it's very small and it's like two bars. So, oh, the more you loop, the more you'll learn. Alright, so now I'm going to take it off a resample and put it on a stretch because it sounds very really high pitch. We don't want that. I'm gonna put this on track number one, fade the beginning a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put some effects on it so it can like blend better. satisfied with that so now i'm gonna pitch it down because i like to do that with my samples and then detune it a little bit halfway all right i like that loop so i'm gonna save my project now because i don't save until i'm able to make the loop because if sometimes the loop sounds weird and they just don't want to work on it anymore all right so now you got your sample basically looped and you need an acapella to put on top of it like your vocals and stuff like that you could take any sample i like to take pink panther's vocals because she's just the best female artist in my opinion so that's what we about to do right now so i've got this sample right here by pink panthers once 
to get your sample, you're going to want to find out what's the BPM because vocals, for some reason, I don't really know the logic behind it, but you got to get the BPM for vocals. So yeah, this song right here is 157. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to just copy it just in case I forget, but let's get back into it. So we got the song right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to extract the vocals. That's all we really need, to be honest. All right, so I got the vocals right here. I'm going to take the part that I want just so I can like sync it up with the BPM. Alright, so it's on time now, we just got to match it with the key. Alright, this pretty much seems like what it's gonna be. I'm gonna put it into track two, and then I already have these presets set for my vocals, but you can like use whatever effects you want. It's not gonna change like the learning process. So now we gotta move on to making the vocal chops for the samples. So here we go. When making vocal chops, you just take whatever like um vowels you can and like whatever you think will sound good really. Don't think too hard. It's not really a difficult thing. You get better over time, so I don't really care about everything else to the right, so I'm gonna just see how the beginning sounds a little bit. I is always gonna sound good, so like, always take those. Alright, so I got all the chops that I want right now. So you just get rid of all these because I don't need them. If you want more chops, you go back later. Not a big deal. I drive them all the way down. So you have some room. Just like keep the chops all together so like, it's easy to get them. But just slide them over and then just start mix matching and see what sounds better. this one so i'm gonna this right here you can put your samples on generic so that they like fade better or i like to just fade it myself i'm gonna change the pitch so i don't get tired of it just create some patterns to put some of them in the background so that's what I'm about to do right now
see like it's in the background and it's painting left and right so like it gives it a little bit more you know layering and stuff if you want you can change the bpm <laughs> As you got these chops, you're gonna wanna make new ones because that's just for the intro. So now that I got the chops, all I'm going to want to do now is add some drums and some samples so that I can make everything flow together. So let's get into that. So you're going to want to make this pattern with your 8 weights and you're going to want to go to the root note, which is this. You can customize your 8-weight a little bit. This is what I like to do with my 8-weights. I like to shape it like this. This way it gives it a little bit of bounce. So I'm gonna put some snaps on top and if you need some Jersey Club samples, make sure to go comment my kits in the description. That I'm using like most of these sounds, they're all in my kit, so. <laughs> Alright, I add some reverb just to the snaps a little bit. I'm gonna lay some whip crashes on top just so it can sound nice. Only the beginning part though. Just put some delay on it and it'll sound like that. That's what we got so far. We could even put more acapellas on top if we want it. So same as before, we're just gonna find out the BPM of the sample. The sample is 125, so we're just gonna go ahead and first we gotta extract the movie. That's what we gotta do. And now we're just gonna try and fit this sample into what we have already. <laughs> 
Make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe, make sure you follow all my socials, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man.